obviously I've been talking about retiring for several years now. I wanted to get into sort of another stage of life where I'm not in the film business anymore and I don't have to run a corporation. And it occurred to me one day that the perfect person to take over the company was Kathy. It's just such a perfect fit. And I felt that I really wanted to put the company somewhere in a larger entity which would protect it. Disney is a huge corporation. They have all kinds of capabilities and facilities so that there's a lot of uh, strength that is gained by this. The great thing about Disney, again, as we were saying before, is that, you know, it's between the parks and all the things they've got going. It's great that we have a chance probably to expand that and, uh, you know, there's lots and lots of opportunities at Disney that we wouldn't have at any other studio. There's huge opportunity given the tremendous success that Disney's had with Marvel and with Pixar and now adding Lucasfilm to that, I think, um, I think we couldn't be at a better home. When I first made Star Wars, everybody in Hollywood said, well, this is a movie Disney should have made. Disney defines family entertainment, and in many ways, it's the best company possible to take Star Wars into the future. And speaking of, we have other big news. Well, um, I always said I wasn't going to do any more, and that's true, because I'm not going to do any more. But that doesn't mean I'm unwilling to turn it over to Kathy to do more. Mm -hmm. I have story treatments of seven, eight, and nine, and a bunch of other movies, and, and obviously we have hundreds of books and comics and everything you could possibly imagine. So, you know, I sort of moved that treasure trove of stories and various things to Kathy, and you know, I have complete confidence that she's going to take them and make great movies. We are absolutely going to make Star Wars movies, mm -hmm. and we are in the midst of the really fun part of the process, which is we're sitting down with a couple of writers and we're starting to discuss ideas and we're starting to talk about what those stories might be. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be entirely on my own because it's important that he at least continue to be the little guardian angel on my shoulder helping they're, they're me do this. They're finishing the hologram now. Don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my Yoda has, yeah. has to be there. I'm doing this so that the films will have a longer life and so that more fans and people can enjoy them in the future. It's a very big universe I've created, and there's a lot of stories that are sitting in there. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. I get to be a fan now, which is what I was saying before, and I sort of look forward to it. It's a lot more fun, actually, than actually having to go out in the mud and You can actually blog about what we're doing and how we're messing things up. And no, 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 no. I just say, gosh, they're out in the snow and it's cold. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it'll be an inspiring package of entertainment that it has always been well, well, well into the future.